Hi, this is Ben Jariola, and I just wanted to share my quick thoughts in a super quick video uh, for this SEO chat dated on May 15, 2014. And we're talking about SEO and the conversion funnel. When we look at the conversion funnel, you could see here on the right, introducer, influencer, and closer. That's how the traffic does come in. There's some traffic that introduces you to the website. Sometimes you're influencing the user. Sometimes it closes right into a conversion. And when you do SEO, we target it in different ways. And that is the reason why you could uh, uh, differentiate how you actually optimize because the search intent of a user is all different. Okay. And if it's all different, then you optimize it differently. Now, just remember this funnel where in SEO could come in different parts of the funnel and since it comes in different parts you target it differently based on that intent to show that even further see if we look at the intent of a user there's introducers influencers and closers uh, and that is more of the type of traffic you get but if you notice the intent of the person it's all different it's either they're searching for more information they're doing some type of navigational search to find a specific page of your site or maybe they want to buy a product or service if ever they want to buy a product or service this would be typically long tail very specific keywords that use your product or service the model name the product name the service name whatever or any details about it and what you have to do is just make sure that your page where they could buy the product or service is optimized properly and most probably it would lead to conversion because the intent is really to buy okay but if the intent is to find a specific page on your site there is no intent in buying maybe they're a current customer maybe they're a customer that is planning to buy is searching is shopping around looking at your competitors maybe they're looking if they really need a product or service but the intent of buying is not immediate they're still researching. So what you want to do is you serve that appropriate page. If ever they're an existing customer, um, they might be looking at a product manual, uh, customer support about us or what, or contact information. Uh, but it's also an opportunity for you to show new products that they may like they may like so since the traffic is already there, as so, as long as you serve the appropriate purpose, because if you serve them to an order page and their intent is not really to buy, they're just going to bounce back. Serve the proper page that uh, properly addresses the information that they're looking for, but still provide that path to conversion. And the since that is not the intent, the conversion may not happen right away it may happen in the future when the intent is already to buy and what you normally see in this path to conversion pages that explain your unique selling proposition a product comparison some type of uh, live demo or setup uh, maybe some time sensitive promo something that they could download and uh, this should not be totally uh, uh, obstruct the user it should maybe some be somewhere in the sidebar something that still attracts their attention but the main content is to serve their intent of finding uh, specific information about your company on your website or about your products and services on your website then somewhere on the side as that is still visible try to entice them to look into the advantages why they should buy your product or service now if the search intent is to search for more information there's no intent of even looking at your website this is where content marketing comes into play where you come up with more informational pages that is interesting informative uh, resourceful and whatnot it attracts users to look at it they find it and if it's very useful they normally talk about it and you get links from it now from an SEO perspective that is good because links do help out in ranking but from a branding perspective that is also good because it strengthens your brand makes you appear as a thought leader uh, it makes you show you know how trustworthy you are how credible you are in the industry now sometimes you don't get those links right away you will get shares social shares and the more shares you get eventually it may also lead into links now the purpose of this type of information is not necessarily to convert but it's higher up in the conversion funnel and if it's higher up in the conversion funnel you're introducing the company it's more of an introducer type of traffic but since you already introduced it then might as well lead them down that same path whether or not they want to go down that path or not
because at least you were introduced and when the intent does turn into a buying intent, it could happen after a week, it could happen after months, it could happen after a year. At least they already know where to go, they would provide that path to conversion and eventually lead to conversion. What if the intent is to buy but not buy from your company? But you're ranking so well, they went to your company. They already had a different company in mind. Then, if they do land on that page, still show that path to conversion because those are the reasons why they should buy at your company. And if they, you do convince them, then the conversion also happens. To show how integrated we are with the different departments or different channels, you could see in the information side on content marketing, you definitely need social media to promote it to more people. More people see it, the more effective it becomes. You do need creative because uh, in content marketing, it's not all about text. It could be images like infographics, it could be videos, videos, kinetic typography, viral videos, and all these other types of media that you could use um, that could entice the user to look at your creative pieces for your content marketing. For navigational search, you want to know how people interact with your site. It's more of a usability type of thing, making sure that the drill down does happen, going into the conversion, how effective it is, how entice the user actually even looking at the reasons why they should buy from you. So we look at analytics and usability, we could do some user testing, and with a guide of creative to help out in modify these pages to make sure that it does entice the users. And when it comes to the buying side, this is where more of landing page optimization and conversion rate optimization is. The intent is already to buy. Then you just have to serve it well so that people really go and uh, make that conversion happen. Of course, the creative again is needed to make these pages. And one thing I also like is to leverage PPC data that you could currently get because normally the keywords that has the buying intent you could normally learn from PPC. It's the same keywords that also gives the greatest conversions. And aside from that, you could also study the ad copy of PPC. The ones that are really effective uh, could aid in the creation of title tags and meta descriptions for organic search. And that just is me just sharing my quick thoughts on SEO chat uh, on this uh, current uh, chat Twitter up online and it was all about conversions and funnels and SEO uh, and I just wanted to make this real quick it's less than 10 minutes it's currently seven minutes something and just quickly whipped it out uh, as my general overarching thoughts of this whole thing thank you very much bye